Okay, so here's the deal. Uh, back like 15 years ago, 10, 15 years ago, um, the United States government was like, hey, we want to become energy independent. And so they decided to start getting heavy. They decided to start allowing companies, gas companies, to do something called fracking. So like ExxonMobil or something or a company like that. They allowed them to do this thing called fracking. And fracking has been around since the 1950s. Uh, and, and uh, but, but about 15 years ago, 10, 15 years ago, the United States government was like, hey, we don't want to be dependent on other countries for gas and oil. So we need to up our production of gas and oil here in the United States. So they said, OK, we will start fracking. So uh, they allowed fracking to happen. And this was about 15 years ago. They allowed it to start ha happening heavily. And at first, here's the deal. At first, they went in, they went, a like, company like ExxonMobil went into Pennsylvania and they found some guy living in Pennsylvania in a town, Billy Bob. And Billy Bob had like four kids. And they were like, hey, Billy Bob, we're going to pay you. You're good with tools. You're a blue collar worker. You're very smart um, with heavy machinery. We're going to give you 200 grand a year. And we need you to do this thing called fracking where you get gas out of those rocks over there. But here's the key is you got to make sure when you get the gas out of the rocks, you got to make sure that the gas doesn't end up in that lake over there. And Billy Bob was like, okay. And so Billy Bob, he shows up every day with his monster energy drinks and his and his uh and his dip, his skull dip and his Marlboro Reds. And he starts to do this. He starts to do this. And about 10, 15 years ago, he starts to do this, Billy Bob. And at first he isn't that good at it. At first, he he's really bad at it, unfortunately. And there's all these videos where people are like lighting like water that's coming out of their faucet on fire and stuff. And so at first, Billy Bob wasn't that good, but 15 years have gone by now. And um, ironically, over the past 15 years, Billy Bob in Pennsylvania, uh, MAGA hat wearing, gun toting, uh, 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 dip, uh, dipping, marbred, smoking Billy Bob he he got pretty good at it and now there's when you when you light you can't light the water on fire anymore now the water's fine cuz Billy Bob actually figured it all out cuz Billy Bob wanted the lake to be nice cuz he he uh, goes boating on the lake on weekends and he doesn't wakeboard but his buddy does and he drinks um but he loves the lake and so he wanted the lake to be good and so he really worked at it and over the past 15 years billy bob has really come up with some uh, some great ways of fracking without polluting and good for billy bob uh which is all it's awesome now here's the whole point of the story in Europe, they never allowed fracking because it was all these environmental groups that are like, hey, we don't want to be able to light our water on fire from our faucet. So no fracking. So all these environmental groups got started and they they received, they, they put up, a, they, they made all these environmental groups started, these anti-fracking groups, and they made websites and they had Venmos on their website or whatever, PayPal's. They're like, hey, donate money to us. This is over the past however many years that these groups, these anti-fracking groups have been protesting fracking in Europe. So Europe never had any fracking because all these environmentalist groups um, uh, weren't, weren't allowing it. They were protesting it. They were heavy in the government, protesting fracking, no fracking, fracking bad. We don't want to be able to light our water on fire. So... And yeah, and so that happened. And so now Europe, a lot of places in Europe, a lot of places in Europe, no, an, an example notably would be Germany. Um, they, they don't really know how to, how to do fracking. They don't know how to do it. They don't know how to uh, do the process of fracking because they never learned it whatsoever because what it was is they didn't want to pollute their land. So what they did instead, because they didn't want to have 
uh, nuclear power. So, because they didn't want to have like a Chernobyl type thing. So, what they did instead is they started buying gas and oil from Russia because it's not far away and they could run a pipeline from Russia to Germany to Central and Western Europe. And everyone can buy gas and buy oil from Russia. And Russia's been doing it for forever. And Russia's not scared to do the fracking. And and it's cheap. And so they're like, hey, we don't have to pollute our own land. Hopefully Russia doesn't do too much polluting. Hopefully they're doing good stuff. We'll make world bodies to kind of uh, worry about overall environmental um, safety over the entire globe. We'll do stuff like that, but we're not going to frack here. We're going to buy our oil and gas from Russia. Well, now here's the interesting part. Russia is shutting off that pipeline, that gas pipeline. Russia is using that. Russia is closing off. It's using it as a weapon of war in order to get Europe to give it the upper hand in the Ukrainian situation in order to have Europe back down um, um, from supplying Ukraine. So they're trying to cut off Europe with gas. Russia is right now. So Europe now needs to uh, become gas and oil independent, just like the United States did. And, and, and Europe has to do it in a very small period. Like literally, like in the next 18 months, Europe has to basically learn how to frack. Central and Western Europe need to learn how to like essentially frack in the next 18 months. Uh, you know, uh, 12 to 18 months, essentially. And that's going to be very difficult. That's going to be a very difficult thing to do. But I'll tell you what they're going to do is they're turning to their allies in the West. Most notably, they're turning to the United States. And I tell you who's going to save the day. I'll tell you who's going to save the day. It's going to be, yup, you guessed it, Billy Bob. That's right, because he was over there in Pennsylvania and ExxonMobil and the CIA, they're going to show up at Billy Bob's house and they're going to be like, Billy Bob, we have a special mission for you. ExxonMobil and the CIA, they're going to be like, Billy Bob, we were paying you 200 grand a year here in, in Pennsylvania, but we're now going to pay you 400 grand a year. And guess what, Billy Bob? You are flying to Germany to save the day. That's right, Billy Bob. You are going to bring fracking to Central and Western Europe. You, Billy Bob, are going to stand tall for NATO and spit in the face of Putin and Billy Bob he has on you know he has on his MAGA hat and he's like yup America I'm gonna do it and dude that's the guy who ExxonMobil that's the consultant they're gonna send over Billy Bob and Billy Bob is going to teach Central and Western Europe how to frack and Billy Bob is going to save the day. They're going to make a movie about Billy Bob one day. <laughs>